No. Wait. Yep. Is that a good angle? Yeah. And that's a good angle. Oh my god, it's only showing half my face. Okay, I think that's it. That's it. There we go. Obviously everybody knows about my lower back. I kind of slipped a disc. So I had the weekend off. I didn't have work. I just relaxed. I had some good food and I just done my stretches. That's, that's all I've done basically. It's Monday today. Time to start fresh. I haven't done bench in about a week and a half. A week and a half. I haven't done heavy bench. So I'm going to go into the gym now. I'm going to do some heavy bench. But what I wanted to talk about, this is only for people that struggle with repping 100 kg or even trying to get that one rep of 100 kg. Anyone else, if you, if you can rep 100 kg for 10 reps, for sets, then obviously this video isn't really for you. But if you're not really able to rep 100 kg or you feel like your form is off, then this is a perfect video for you. So carry on watching because I'm going to be showing a few things what I've done in the past so I was able to rep out 100 kg. If you was one of my subscribers from way back, you would already know I wasn't able to rep how much? One rep of 100 kg by myself. And now I'm able to rep it out. I'm just gonna give you a few tips what I done and hopefully it helps you. So keep on watching people. I'm gonna make my way to the gym. But as always, make sure you warm up before you start. Bench. Alright, let's get into it. Before we even lift the bar, you need to make sure that your foot placement is in a comfortable position. When I used to do bench, I will not lie, my feet used to be all over the place. As soon as I went heavy, my feet were moving left, right, coming off the floor. One tip I can give you is always make sure, always make sure, well for me, this is how I feel comfortable, the balls of my feet are always on the floor. So as soon as it gets heavy, instead of lifting up my feet off the floor, I use the ball of my feet to push down into the ground to get more power and to explode up. Believe it or not, it really does help. Give it a go and you might see your bench go up or just explode up a lot more because you're using your lower body and not just only your upper body to explode up. So give that a go, foot placement. And yeah, let's move on. Okay, so moving into the next tip will be hand placement, where to place your hands. Anyone knows, if you used to watch my old videos, my hands used to go really, really wide. Like, really wide. I wasn't able to incorporate my triceps when I was pushing through, where that's what I really wanna, that's what I wanna use to explode up, cause I have strong triceps. But I wasn't using it, I was just, just pushing up, going really wide. So what I had to do is move my hands in a little bit closer. I normally go at least shoulder width, so I put my arm out straight on the bar. Um, as soon as I go down, that's a comfortable position for me. There's something else I didn't talk about in this video um, and that will be the arch in your lower back. You don't want to overdo it. You don't want to overdo it. I kind of had my, a crazy arch in my lower back one time and I nearly fucked myself up. So you don't want to over exaggerate the arch in your lower back. Just a small arch getting your chest up, able to contract your chest, but you don't want to go crazy. Fuck that hurt. But yeah, let's move on and let's lift some weights. I didn't go crazy with the reps because I was working my way up to my working set which is going to be 100 kg so what I normally do is just at least again two to three sets not even three sets about two sets around 15 to 20 reps just focusing on the squeeze getting the blush rushing through my chest and getting ready for my working set
to my working set, this is when it got a little bit tricky because I haven't done bench in about a week and a half. Man, this is one thing I can say to everyone that's struggling with bench. If you want a stronger bench, you need to be consistent. You need to be consistent. I can't stress that enough. I was doing bench twice a week. Monday was my heavy day. So I'll do exactly what we're about to watch now. And then on Wednesday, it's more lower the weight, focus on the squeeze, the stretch and the contraction. Straight after that, I'll go into some isolation movements. That was more of the thing that helped me go to 100 kg. So if you're not consistent, all of these tips will not help you in the long run. I only went three sets and I went for six to five reps. I didn't want to go crazy because I didn't have anyone to spot me like an idiot. But yeah, that's what I've done. So carry on watching, let me know what you think and then I'm gonna come back and we can have another chat. <laughs> tips I just wanted to share that with a couple people I've spoke about it before but just for my new subscribers that are in the same boat as me struggling to get 100 kg again I hope this helped please leave a thumbs up if it did if you have any other questions message me on Instagram Mr London TV or you can just email me I, I really don't mind because I'm here to help to be honest with you so my next video will be out on Wednesday hope everyone has a good day hope you had a good Easter and yeah that's it. Peace.